seem really weird. I feel like I'm way too close to you right now. I'm just a disaster mess and I've been out all day so I already look like crap but I figured this is better than nothing as usual. I feel like that's every video I make now is just it's better than nothing type videos. I'm really sorry if it seems like I'm not putting an effort into my videos anymore but I've just been so exhausted and just really battling a lot of personal stuff so it's been hard to be in front of the camera. So I was approached by a company called SexyBox.com and it's $30 a month, or it says from $30 a month. It says that their team of experts pick an outfit each month and you just tell them your size. There's uh, ranges from extra small to triple XL and plus size and there are different like surprise outfits in each box and returns and exchanges are free. But when I got approached by them, I was like, this is really awesome. This is something that's a little more intimate. By the way, sorry if it looks like I'm missing an eyebrow, but I really don't think this background thing is gonna work out. I was really excited to do this just because I thought it was really cool. They didn't like ask me to try it on or anything. They actually sent me two different outfits, which is what they call it. Um, but each box, I believe, only comes with one. But they're just really, really nice, almost like Victoria's Secret quality so that's why it's a little pricier than usual boxes and it just came in there like your standard kind of box some red tissue paper so they keep it very like sexy I guess and sleek this is probably my favorite one that I received and it's like a little teddy and this is what it looks like here it's see-through on the top part of it as well as the rest which is kind of like roughly and cute and um, oh it's actually inside out because I was trying it out earlier <laughs> but it looks really 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 good if you're a little more shy I guess about your body maybe like your stomach area and you don't really like showing it off too much this is the perfect cover-up that just makes you look really sexy regardless Kind of still hiding any little spots you may not want to show even if you're in love with someone sometimes to get sexy you also have to be comfortable with yourself and if you're not ready to be fully exposed then you can still be sexy and you know still be playful so you can see here that you will be able to see through probably your nipples and stuff like that but um, I think that's what makes it even sexier really so you're showing yourself but still a little covered up so I really love that and it did come with a g-string sort of thing and even though I asked for the large they may need to send me um, for the second outfit one that's a little bigger just because I feel like their sizes are a little bit small on the small side at least for me you guys have seen my curvy lookbook so you kind of know my body type but that's the back and the front is obviously also see-through the second one even though I absolutely love it and I think it's just one of the sexiest things I've ever seen very much reminds me of B or Bay bad girl on Instagram if you guys have ever seen her she's incredible and I was just a little bummed because even though it fit me, it wasn't very flattering, I guess, because my sides were like almost bulging out, so that was, you know, a little eh, but I'm kind of debating whether or not to post pictures. I might post pictures but hide certain parts of the picture, I guess, I don't know. It's going to be a little harder to show. This is, this is the top of it, let me turn the brightness down. So this is the top part of it. This goes um, where your breast is and then it connects down to your stomach and has this little sort of low rise thong attached to it and little garter, um, I don't know what these are called, little straps that you can attach maybe like a high rise pantyhose or something too. And then this goes wrapped around your back for that extra bit of support to hold on to your body while you're wearing it and um, yeah it's just almost like a halter top style at the top it's almost like a one a really sexy one-piece bathing suit this is it upside down so you can see the bottom part of it is so well put together it doesn't look like it's gonna be going anywhere anytime soon you can attach the little garter straps there if you want to and the material is just awesome the quality is 
outstanding. I'm really, really impressed. This is one of those like one size fits all outfits, which I usually don't like because one size never fits all. <laughs> but I still really love it. I can fit it. I just don't know how comfortable I would be wearing it, if you know what I'm saying. This is one of those subscription services I think would be so great for your confidence if maybe you're lacking a little something in the bedroom and you want to spice things up. You don't have to be an old married couple to spice things up or to even just do it for yourself, not for somebody else. It's so nice to walk around the house feeling sexy and not having to do it for anybody but yourself. I am actually thinking of signing up for it myself because I am not one to go out and just like shop for lingerie. As much as I love lingerie, I don't have the money to do that all the time. So I think $30 for a full outfit each month is just a great way to, for them to just do the shopping for you and you'll still have like a really good amount of little sexy things you can use here and there in your collection. If I can think of any other details, I'll leave them below. Of course, all the company info will be below as well. I am actually really curious to see how this company handles the more full size um, outfits to see if they are still as sexy. So if any of you girls end up getting this and you're on the fuller size, let me know because I'm always really anxious to see how companies handle differences, I guess, because I already hate the fact that they're the size is called full size. I don't understand why it's not just part of all the other sizes. I don't like that they discriminate in that sense and a lot of companies don't even offer specific sizes. The fact that they do was already a win in my book, but I also want to know how they handle it further if that makes any sense. I guess I should have tried to look a little more sexy for a sexy box on opening, huh? Because <laughs> this is very unsexy.